So did you know there's actually a mind game behind pressuring with drive rush on block or defending against it that lets you get away with so much more or punish players who don't know about the mind game. I recently saw Brian F release a clip about it and I think there's a little bit more to talk about as the rabbit hole here gets pretty deep. Let's talk about it. Okay, so a lot of people like to call Street Fighter 6 crouch medium kick into drive rush buffer the game, right? Some kind of meme like this. And you'll see a lot of people pressure like this where they'll play footsies and they'll just buffer this because it's a good option on block you kind of plus in their face on hit you get a full combo right so let's see what a standard cami drive rush will look like you might do something like this because on hit she gets pretty high damage combo and a meaty throw or strike mix up right and on block she's plus one in our face where she can also play a strike throw mix up with us right so it's it's a good option for her but did you know that you can always 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 dp this as the defender if you notice someone is fishing for this and you purposely you know maybe you walk up and get hit by their crouching immediate kick because you know this brain dead player is always buffering drive rush the second you notice that crouch medium kick came out you can start buffering your dp right Kemi cannot do anything to block this DP as soon as she committed to that drive rush. So as a defender, this lets you get out for free. But let's say you're someone who's like this Kami who likes to approach with crouching medium kick into drive rush often, right? As a lot of us do. What is what is your actual option to not get hit by that DP? Well, Kami can do a true block string. Instead, she can opt to do something like this, right? Her reward on hit is a lot worse, but it's still good. And she still gets a strike throw on block. So it's not the worst for Kami, but her reward on hit is quite low. As we saw, the damage there was quite poor. Right? So watch my inputs. I'm going to mash my DP and it's actually a true block string. So it's not that she's blocking my DP. I still get to mash on it and it'll work if she didn't do this. But at least she's not getting DP'd out of her driver. She gets to play a strike throw after I block her jabs. Okay, so this iceberg gets a little bit deeper. What some people will tell you is that if you drive rush into crouch light kick, you'll actually catch people's DP motion, right? Because even though something can be a true block string, if someone is no longer holding down during that block string and you hit them low, you'll still hit them. So let me show you an example with Kami where I'm going to do this, which is a true block string, right? I'm going to hold down back and mass jab. It's not coming out because that's a true block string. Now watch when I input a DP. Because I had to press forward during my DP, I pressed forward, down, down, forward. Kami hit me during my forward input because I let go of down. But people might tell you, just hit them low and you'll catch the start of their DP. But there's two problems to this. One, the major one is... As far as I know, no character can true block string, crouch, medium kick, drive rush into light kick. Like this, right? So that's Kami's doing it. Watch this. It's not a true block string anyway. The jab was, but the crouch light kick wasn't because crouch light kicks are one frame slower than jabs. I don't know if Capcom did this on purpose, specifically for this kind of thing. I don't know. But as far as I could tell, no character can do this. Maybe a character has a four frame. Maybe there's a character out there with a four frame crouch light kick. I'm not actually sure. Or there's a character who has more blocks on, on their crouch medium kick. I'm also not sure, but I checked quite a few of these. I checked Jury, I checked Jamie, I checked a few others. Characters who I thought had good crouch uh, medium kicks and it just didn't work. You can always DP through it, right? So as a defender, deep mashing DP after a drive rush is pretty much always in your favor for the examples we've seen so far. But what about for an example we haven't talked about, which was the heavy punch into crouch light kick, which we, we just saw it did beat my DP motion. Well, the next tip of the iceberg here is that you never actually have to let go of down to do a DP in Street Fighter games, right? See, in my input there, I'm holding down forward. I go to down and I press down forward again. I never hit forward. If I was to do that input against Kami's heavy punch into crouch light kick, I wouldn't get stuffed. Watch this. See, even though I was I was holding down forward and not down back, I still did not get hit by the low because there's a down, right? So watch, I'm just gonna mash it like crazy. And then finally comes out as soon as the block string ends, right? So at no point during that entire block string was I holding down back. I was either pressing down or down forward because I was trying to mash a DP like this. And it was true block string it, right? So, so far it looks like as the defender, you pretty much have no reason not to DP if you know someone will drive rush after a normal, right? So because either A, it doesn't come out because it did a true block string into a jab or even a true block string into a low, but you never pressed forward. You did the shortcut for DP. Now this wouldn't work for charge characters, right? A charge character actually has to press up to do their DP. In that case, doing something like heavy punch into crouch light kick would hit the DP for a character like Guile or DJ, right? But not for a traditional DP motion. So as someone on offense, how do you stop someone from doing a DP after your driver? So let's say someone is just so good at it, they're always doing it, you notice they're always doing it, how do you bait it? Well, the only real way that I could think of right now, maybe someone in the comments knows a different one, is you have to do a heavy into drive rush and then just block. So let's say Kami does medium kick into drive rush and she's just blocking as fast as she can. She's just not blocking fast enough. She'll always get counter hit. If she does that same thing with the heavy, she actually can block in time, right? But what if I don't choose to DP in that situation? 
I'm actually plus five. So she's using three bars to be minus five in my face where I could literally grab her, right? So obviously there's a little bit of a mix up there. But the moral of the story here is that doing the DP on defense when someone drive rushes on block a lot against you especially if they're doing medium kick medium punch starters into drive rush or jabs there's almost no reason not to input dp but just make sure you're not pressing forward during your dp you want to just press down the whole time i said almost no reason as we found out there is literally one reason not to do it because they can because they can just block it is very much in your favor who's going to spend three bars to be minus five in your face it's like not something that people will try to go for so this is an option select i guess you could call it because your dp doesn't come out if it's a true block string or a low and it does come out if there's a gap and the def the person on offense kind of has nothing to deal with it besides give up three bars to be minus five in your face which is good if they're right right if they actually do successfully call out your dp they're going to end your life but it kind of makes people not want to drive rush more in general because that's kind of a bad gamble to do three bars for like three bars to potentially ruin your offense right a lot of people's neutral relies on doing things like this which aren't real you know a lot of camis do do this because again like i said it's a very good tool when it works even on block it's a good strike throw situation for her so if you're good at realizing when people like to drive rush and you're good at dp'ing through it you'll at least make them honest and they have to do things like this which have a lot lower reward on hit so the moral of the story here is get used to dp'ing in drive rush situations because a lot of the time it is in your favor if you want to don't dp if you notice it's a heavy but against any mediums or lights it's pretty much always worth to do so because you will just block any true block strings as long as you didn't press forward and you'll dp through any fake ones if you learned something i would appreciate a like comment and subscription if there's anything you don't understand about the situation or there's a character who actually can true block string from medium into light kick i would love to know in the comments below let me know what you think about this in the comments see you next time stay beautiful my friends